Popular culture frequently romanticizes the Wild West as a time of rugged individualism, gunfighters, and duels. While there were many colorful characters and distinctive firearms in this era, some handguns stand out for their design, utility, and historical significance. Here are five most mental guns of the Wild West. Number 1. Merwin and Halbert Revolver the Merwin and Hulbert revolver is an impressive handgun of the Wild West for several reasons. It was first introduced in the late 19th century and was known for its unique design, innovative features, and high quality construction. One of the most impressive features of the Merwin and Hulbert revolver was its cartridge design. Unlike many other revolvers of the time, the Merwin and Hulbert revolver used a unique self ejecting cartridge system that made it much easier and faster to reload. This was a major advantage in combat situations where every second counted. In addition to its innovative cartridge design, the Merwin and Hulbert revolver was also known for its high quality construction. The revolver was made with top grade materials and was designed to be both rugged and reliable. This made it a popular choice among law enforcement agencies, military personnel, and civilians who wanted a handgun that they could depend on. Another impressive aspect of the Merwin and Hulbert revolver was its accuracy. The revolver was known for its precise aim and was capable of firing accurately at long distances. It was also known for its elegant design. The revolver featured intricate engravings and a beautiful finish that made it a work of art as well, as a deadly weapon. This made it a popular choice among collectors and enthusiasts who appreciated both the practical and aesthetic qualities of the revolver. The Mervyn and Hulbert revolver was an impressive handgun of the Wild West due to its innovative cartridge design, high quality construction, accuracy, and elegant design. Its self ejecting cartridge system made it faster and easier to reload while its rugged construction ensured that it could withstand the rigors of combat. Its accuracy made it an ideal choice for marksmen and hunters, and its beautiful finish and intricate engravings made it a work of art as well as a deadly weapon. Overall, the Merwin and Hulbert revolver was a testament to the ingenuity, craftsmanship, and innovation of the gun makers of the Wild West. Number 2. Sharps 4 Barrel Derringer the Sharps 4 Barrel Derringer is a small handgun that was originally designed for concealed carry and personal protection. It was named after its inventor, Christian Sharps, and it was first introduced in the 1850s. The gun was small enough to fit in a pocket or purse, but it still packed a powerful punch. What made the Sharps 4 Barrel Derringer impressive was its unique design. Unlike most Derringers, which only had two barrels, the Sharps had four. This allowed the shooter to fire multiple shots in quick succession, making it more effective in a self-defense situation. The gun was also chambered in a variety of calibers, including .22, .32, .38, and .41, giving shooters the option to choose a caliber that suited their needs. It was also notable for its construction. It was made with high-quality materials, including a steel frame and a barrel, and it was finely crafted to ensure accuracy and reliability. The gun was also designed with a simple break-action mechanism that made it easy to load and unload. The Sharps 4 barrel Derringer became popular among law enforcement officers and civilians alike, and it was used throughout the Wild West as a reliable and effective personal defense weapon. One of the most famous incidents involving the Sharps 4 barrel Derringer occurred in 1865 when John Wilkie's Booth used the gun to assassinate President Abraham Lincoln. Booth had purchased the gun specifically for this purpose, and he had used it to shoot Lincoln in the back of the head while the president was watching a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Number 3. Whitney Navy Revolver The Whitney Navy Revolver was a 6-shot .36 caliber revolver that was produced by the Whitney Arms Company in the mid-19th century. It was designed as a competitor to the more well-known Colt Navy Revolver. One of the most impressive features of the Whitney was its unique loading system. Unlike the Colt Navy, which, which used a loading lever on the side of the barrel to load cartridges into the cylinder, the Whitney Navy had a loading gate on the right side of the frame that allowed cartridges to be loaded one at a time directly into the cylinder. This made the reloading process faster and easier, especially in the heat of battle. The Whitney Navy revolver also had a larger grip than the Colt Navy, which made it comfortable to hold and easier to shoot accurately. It was also known for its excellent balance and overall craftsmanship, the Whitney Navy Revolver is a sought-after collector's item for its unique design and historical significance. It's considered a classic example of American revolver technology and is highly valued by firearms enthusiasts and historians alike. Number 4. Smith & Wesson Model 3 The Smith & Wesson Model 3, also known as the Schofield Revolver, is a six-shot single-action revolver that was designed and manufactured by Smith & Wesson in the late 1800s. It was one of the most popular revolvers of the Wild West era and was used by both lawmen and outlaws alike. The Model 3 was designed by Major George W. Schofield of the U.S. Army. 
It was initially intended to be a cavalry revolver for use by the US Army, but it was also popular with civilian shooters due to its accuracy and reliability. It was introduced in 1875 and remained in production until 1915, with over 35,000 units being produced during that time. It had a unique break-open design that made it easy to reload. The top of the frame hinged forward, allowing the shooter to eject the spent cartridges and load fresh rounds into the cylinder. This made it faster and more convenient to reload than other revolvers of the time. The Model 3 was chambered in .44-40 Winchester, which was a popular cartridge during the late 1800s. It was also available in .45 Colt and .32-20 Winchester. It had a 7-inch barrel and weighed approximately 2.5 pounds. It was available with either a blued or nickel-plated finish and had wooden grips. The Model 3 was used by many famous figures of the Wild West, including Wyatt Earp, Bat Masterson, and Buffalo Bill Cody. The Model 3 was known for its accuracy and reliability, and it was a favorite among competitive shooters. The Model 3 was also used in military conflicts including the Spanish-American War and the Philippine-American War. It was used by both American soldiers and Filipino insurgents. The Smith & Wesson Model 3 was an impressive revolver that played an important role in the history of the Wild West. Its break-open design and chambering and popular cartridges made it a practical and versatile choice for shooters of the time. Its accuracy and reliability made it a favorite among lawmen, outlaws, and competitive shooters alike. Number 5. The Lamat Revolver The Lamat Revolver is a historic and unique firearm that was produced during the Civil War and the Wild West era. It was designed by Dr. Jean-Alexandre Francois Lamat, a French-born inventor and physician who served as an officer in the Confederate Army during the American Civil War. The Lamat revolver was initially intended for use by the Confederate Army, but it was also popular among gunfighters and outlaws in the Wild West. The Lamat revolver was a combination revolver and shotgun with a 9-shot cylinder that was chambered for .44 caliber rounds and a secondary barrel that was located below the main barrel and fired a single 20-gauge shotgun shell. The shotgun barrel could be fired by rotating a selector on the hammer, which would switch between the revolver and shotgun modes. The Lamat revolver was known for its unique and innovative design, and it was highly prized by gun enthusiasts. One of the most notable users of the Lamat revolver was Confederate General J.E.B. Stewart, who was known for his daring cavalry raids during the Civil War. Stewart carried a pair of Lamat revolvers during his raids, and he was known to use the shotgun barrel to devastating effect in close quarters combat. The Lamat revolver was also favored by other Confederate officers including General Braxton Bragg and Colonel John S. Mosby. In the Wild West, the Lamat revolver was a popular choice among gunfighters and outlaws who prized its unique design and versatility. The revolver was used by notorious outlaws such as Jesse James and John Wesley Hardin, as well as lawmen such as Bat Masterson and Wild Bill Hickok. Did we miss anything? Let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day.